Our project is rumor detection on social media with graph convolutional network. In modern society, we gradually depend on social media. However, there are much more rumors on it. Thus, there have been many algorithms on detecting rumors. We first build our baseline model via our VNN model, then construct our by GCM model. The dataset we use is Twitter 15 and Twitter 16 and Weibo. CNN essentially is a weighted sum, and it can effectively extract space features. However, the pixels should be well organized as a matrix, named as Euclidean structure. There are still many non-Euclidean structure data, like social network, information network. Thus, a graph convolutional network GCN comes up to deal with such structure. And the meaning of graph is topology in graph theory. Why do we choose GCN for rumor detection? First. CNN cannot deal with non-Euclidean structure data. In topology graph, the number of each vertex and its neighbors may be different. Therefore, it cannot be computed with one-size convolutional kernel. Since rumor propagation is more likely to be non-Euclidean structure, and GCN is good at capturing feature from such structure, also, GCN has been demonstrated many good performance in many graph tasks. In our experiments, we use Twitter and Weibo datasets. Twitter datasets have four levels, non-rumor, false rumor, true rumor, and unverified rumor, while Weibo dataset only has two labels, rumor and non-rumor. Pre-processing aims to generate tree data based on raw data from Twitter and Weibo. In tree and graph model, the age represents retweet or comment relationships, and features are the extracted top 5,000 words. Take Weibo dataset as an example. The original data is in JSON format. It contains information like event ID, comments, and attitudes. We use this to generate the tree data and ID label data for following processing. For the tree data, the first column is the event ID, the second is the parent index, the third is the current index, and the last one is the contents of the post. To make a fair comparison, we randomly build the dataset into five parts and construct, conduct five cross-validation folds to obtain robust results. For the Weibo dataset, we evaluate the accuracy over the two categories for the two Twitter datasets. We evaluate accuracy over the four categories. The baseline model we use is tree structured recursive neural networks. In order to distinguish it from RNN, we call this RVNN. The RVNN is similar to the RNN in many aspects. The difference is that the RNN's nodes are connected by time and while RVNN's nodes are connected by a given tree. It also has the capability to deal with the long distance sequential input. The input of each leaf node is a vector of nodes word. The input of each non leaf node is from both nodes word vector and the output of node subtree. The hidden unit we choose is GRU and the output of the RVNN is the prediction of the labels using softmax function. This computation is done recursively over all three nodes. In figure 1a, 
is on directed GCN. Although on directed GCN can deal with the global structural features of rumor dispersion, it does not take the direction of rumor propagation into consideration, which has been an important clue for rumor detection. To cope with both propagation and dispersion of rumors, this paper proposed a novel bidirectional GCN, which merges both top-down dispersion and bottom-up propagation of rumors. The representation of propagation and dispersion pulled from top-down GCN and bottom-up GCN are merged together to make the final results. In Figure 1a is undirected GCN. Although undirected GCN can deal with the global structural features of rumor dispersion, it does not take the direction of rumor propagation into consideration, which has been an important clue for rumor detection. To cope with both propagation and dispersion of rumors, this paper proposed a novel bidirectional GCN, which merges both top-down dispersion and bottom-up propagation of rumors. The representation of propagation and dispersion pulled from top-down GCN and bottom-up GCN are merged together to make the final results. By GCN model has two parts. One is top-down GCN, the other is bottom-up GCN. They adopt the same features input X and H is the hidden layer and the adjacency matrix of the two parts are different. Drop H is a novel method to reduce overfitting for GCN-based models. In each training epoch, it randomly drops out edges from the input graphs to generate different deformed copies with certain ray. As a result, this method augments the randomness and the diversity of input data, just like rotating of lapping image as random. For our VNN baseline model, the accuracy of Twitter 15 and Twitter 16 dataset are 17% and 72% respectively, and the accuracy of WEPO dataset is about 88%. They are all close to the accuracy provided by the papers. For bidirectional GCN model, the accuracy of Twitter 15 and Twitter 16 are 86% and 84% respectively, and the accuracy of Weibo dataset is 93%. They are all higher than our baseline model.